Hello everybody and welcome back to He Makes Me Play. I am Marius and I am blind. I cannot see and therefore I make other people play video games. That's what's going on and today again we play Disco Elysium with Vincent. Hello Vincent. Hi Marius. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? That's good. I'm, I'm good as well and I'm glad you're great because today we've got some real police work ahead of us. Yeah. This is gonna be some serious interviewing, interrogating, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Investigating. Yes, because last time, God damn it, we established our authority. Yes. We talked to the Hardy Boys, finally, and we learned about Classe that's her name, right? Right. Yeah, who was possibly a victim of sexual violence perpetrated by the victim of uh, murder by being shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who was hanging from the tree. Yeah, correct. That's what's going on. We're going to interview her. Also, um... To, <laughs> to make things incredibly worse, we have also harassed her sexually at the start of the game. Well, we were not fully functional there. We just so woke up from yeah eternal yeah. slumber and we hadn't quite, honestly, the players hadn't quite decided yet to play a proper person. And we, we didn't even know what kind of person yeah. we were. Oh, what kind of game this is. The really. option was there, so we clicked it. I think it's perfect, honestly, for this character development. Yeah, that yeah. we're trying to instill in Harry. So let's uh, go do it. Unless we have, I guess we also talked to Rene and Gaston. Yeah, we also. I ended the episode by standing right next to the car or, or the the motor carriage of uh, Kim, which we could use to contact. The okay, station. that sounds like a long other thing. Yeah, okay. I want to talk to Klaas here. Okay, you know what I just realized? I didn't turn this lamp on. I'm gonna do that. Oh sure. There you go. Now you, you, in all your you glory. can see me in my glory, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they can. Uh, the, I mean, I'm saying let's interview Klaasio. Can we even reach her? Well, we couldn't so far because she wouldn't open the door. Yeah. I assume <laughs> that we can now. Because, because of plot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and because yeah. maybe we have some insight that we can share with her or some... Maybe we, Kim will put in a good word for us. Exactly. That's weird. Um, so we are standing in front of her door, right? And um, because the door is closed, we can't see her room. But there is some sort of light in her room. So we can see like a small circle of her room, even though okay. everything else is black. I think that's a bug. I, can't, I don't quite understand. But yeah, it sounds like a bug. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk to the door. Okay. The door is closed. There's still a dent in the vinyl where you punched it before. Look, we don't need to talk about that anymore. All right. Not only did we harass her, then we knocked on her door. Mm -hmm. She didn't open and then we punched the door. Yeah, we got a bit angry there. Yeah. So we can <laughs> run our finger across the dent. Mm. We can knock or we can leave. Run your finger like a real creep. <laughs> okay. This little depression is all you could inflict on the door. Beauty has abandoned you in this ugliness, Honcho, and then some. Who's saying that? You cannot that? even remember the name of beauty. What beauty was. Inland. Makes sense. Why did I even ask? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we knock. White morning. It was morning all along. You should have seen it coming. It was right behind her eyes. That was a mm. thought we had, right? White morning. Yeah, white morning, possibly related to our ex-wife, mm -hmm. girlfriend, whatever. And very emotionally dangerous for Harry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right, we checked our health and mm -hmm. morale earlier. Hopefully it will be enough. Uh, well, we'll see. The words still echo in the hallway. Uh, we can say to ourselves, I think. Uh, first option is fucking whore. Or we can just knock again. Hmm. Don't necessarily like what he's saying, but I kind of want to follow that thought. <laughs> just to see where it goes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, do it. There we go. Fucking whore. What a nice thing to say. <laughs> Everything is A-OK -okay with you. Okay. That, that's all. That's still inland. Uh, no, that's half light. 
Mm, okay. So um, why is Hafla doesn't seem like the type of script to psychoanalyze us, but okay. <laughs> Not quite. But it is the one that would say fucking whore. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't seem happy about it. Well, uh, it says everything's A-OK -okay with you, which if that is a genuine statement, yes, that is something that half Light might think. But, but it sounded Yes, it sounded pretty sarcastic, yeah. Okay, so what now? We knock. All right. Who is it? A woman's voice answers. She well, wasn't voiced by before, before, right? Well, we don't know because we talked to her because before we had the final cut version. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She wasn't yeah. voiced mm -hmm. in the original. Yeah, okay. I mean, no, I don't know. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs somewhere. You could snoop around before going up. Oh. Yeah. So this is a two-story room. Oh, well, we open the door. Okay. And we can see inside. Yeah, it's definitely snoop around. Yeah, so we have one room. Um, there's a stairway going upstairs then on the right there is a um, uh, office not an office area but uh, a table mm -hmm. um, and then there are is a, a couch with um, one of these I don't know if the, you know this but it's, it's a couch but it's not quite a couch because it has like two seats and then in the middle there is it a recamier Vincent a chaise long if you will no it's um, two actual seats <laughs> okay um, but in the middle, there's a wooden uh, desk. Oh, well, not a desk. Uh, a, a, a small coffee surface. table. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I th what is that called? Dear viewer, if you know what <laughs> it's called, leave a comment. Well, the, We don't know. There's a dot. I'm going to click it. Okay. It says, piles of dirty clothes. A woman's. Yeah, there's a pile of clothes on it. All right. Yeah. And then the desk which we have a thought, but there's also a button on some papers. Hotel bill calculations. Looks like she had an extended stay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we had a thought. This room has sad all over it. Reminds you of your own. Mm, does it, though? I mean, it doesn't sound like it's trashed. No, certainly not. How does a room have sad all over it? Mm. What actually communicates that? I mean, okay, the one thing that very clearly communicates that to me is one of the plants mm. uh, is just like the leaves are just hanging down. Right, that is very, <laughs> but it's very it's, on the nose. Yeah, it's not like um, dehydrated. It's just, it's just the way it looks. Yeah, depressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay. Um, so there's a door we could open, or mm. we could take the uh, stairs up. The door is probably the bathroom. Open it. Yeah, it's the bathroom. You were right. There's a sm very small window with a button. You see the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. Mm -hmm. And anything else we can interact with? Yes, there are her... Okay, so there's a second plan. And, uh, there's this medicine cabinet is a medicine full cabinet. of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. So we can look at the toothbrush, at the medication, or we can close the cabinet. Sure, look at the toothbrush. It's been used quite a lot. Uh, yeah, this could be my medicine cabinet. Don't know what that says about me. But <laughs> so far, nothing interesting. Look at the other stuff. You, you, you're not trying to tell me you're a rape victim, are you? No, okay. no, I'm not. Like, as I'm saying, there's nothing remarkable in my yeah. opinion. Except, okay, maybe I'm a sloth and disorganized. In the sense of st just randomly stacking shit over, you know, each other. Hmm. Yeah. Does your room have sad all over it? Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> funny you should say that. I was wondering, hmm, maybe Vincent thinks that's sad. He's right. I should probably water my plants more often. <laughs> Sorry, plant, which oh. also tell. Anyway, let's <laughs> keep moving. Okay. Let's look at the medication. Here we go. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves. Sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. And yeah. we can say out loud, there's quite the collection in here. Or we can search. Yeah. 
We can search the bottles and we can search the pill sheets. Yep, I mean, say it out loud, I guess, to entertain Kim. Mm -hmm. Anything of note? He asks in a lowered <laughs> voice. I'm on the I'm on the case, Lieutenant Kutsuragi. Well, we, we search the bottles. Yeah. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Necra. And we can say, or we can whisper, what's Necra? Okay. Or we can keep it to ourselves. No, whisper it. An opioid receptor antagonist. It's used for diamorphine overdoses. Hmm. Okay, and then we search the pill sheets. Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or Gottwaldian, marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little know-how. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird for that's the like, narrator to say. Yeah, this is like a DM asking us, yeah. so what do you... F let's make that a perception check. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I just think it's kind of what I guess you would call a voice slip. The tone of the mm -hmm. game otherwise is not like this. It's just remarkable. Well, we have a white check. Mm. Electrochemist. Oh, fuck, no, we need their help. Medium 10. Is there something more interesting here? Yeah. And we have a 83% chance because we get a plus one from chemical hangover. Okay, yeah, we got a nose for this stuff now. Mm -hmm. But that's a really good chance. So, hmm, do we get a bonus because we haven't indulged in any chemicals? I or? think I was wondering, but I think it would say that. Or is it because we have used a health potion recently, maybe? Mm. Oh, okay, you mean chemical hangover is because we haven't indulged, which we haven't. We really haven't. Yeah. Um, yeah, it might be, but uh, what that might also be there even if you do indulge, and it's just this. Okay, yeah. Harry is just hungover from something even stronger. I don't know. Mm. I guess we have to find out another playthrough. Yeah, okay. Let's just click it because we got a good chance. Yeah, here we go. Come on. A ha. bright orange bottle with peptide stamped on it in sunny, happy letters. <laughs> Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. So uh, what is it? So we have a couple of options, but I'm going to tell you right now, we have a red check. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So the first All of a sudden, this game is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first option is to ask, what's so exciting about this orange bottle? Then we can say out loud, Lieutenant, I also see a brand called Preptide. Then we have an interfacing medium 10 ticket in secret check. That's the red check? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. And then just take it in plain sight. Uh, well, I don't, yeah. But exciting, but I don't want to do that check because obviously the intention is to hide it from Kim mm -hmm. and then probably in indulge in it. We get a minus one because we have sweaty hands. Yeah. It can, I guess I wonder if you can wear gloves, but we I don't want to do that. Gloves. We are wearing gloves. I, I see. Okay. Yeah. The, anyway, number one, that's just information, right? Yeah. What's so exciting about this yeah. orange bottle? It's speed, man. Just what you were looking for. They call it dextroamphetamine and talk about psychological disorders. But what we're seeing here is some scientifically advanced trucker speed. Nice. It's basically Adderall, right? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, or Ritalin. Do we just say what we can to the lieutenant? Yeah. Okay. I also see a brand called Preptide. Preptide. A euphemism for pharmaceutical amphetamine. Prescription speed. The fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's get super fucking preppy. No. Do we're we, not doing that. Do we take it? I don't see why. Okay, so we just close the cabinet. I mean, do do, do you see a reason to take it? I, I this is I mean, not like illegal. It's prescription. We, I mean, right, yeah. why would we just steal her stuff? The only reason I see is because it's a red check, and I, as a player, want to play, I understand. Uh, click the red check because it's it's screaming at me to click. But it. I, this is the kind of game that will seduce you into making exactly. bad calls. Mm -hmm. So let's let's just you know. We did our investigating, which is already kind of transgressive. 
Yeah. And now we close the cabinet. We, we, we check the bathroom. Call, uh, like every dinner guest does that. <clears throat> I had to make sure that <laughs> it's safe. Yeah. Okay. Close the cabinet. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering if Electro would have had a last word. Like, hey, you can't just stop here. You have to. Yeah. That would be funny if you have to, like, um, succeed on a volition check. Yeah, exactly. To not take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go upstairs. Yeah. Ten minutes after she heard us opening the door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I had to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, Kim, Kim, you were there, right? You saw me. <laughs> okay, we are in a second room. Uh, it's like a very small bedroom. Mm -hmm. And we have a thought. You feel someone watching you behind the glass door, a woman. So uh, in the southwest, there's a glass um, door. door and part of that uh, wall is a door here. Yeah. Where does that lead to the balcony? Mm -hmm. Okay. But not the balcony we've been on. There's a second balcony right in the middle of the um, the roof. Uh, okay. Okay. V first of all, there is a button on the bed and I'm going to click it. Okay. And then we can go outside. The bed has been hastily made. <laughs> yeah, she was also active in those 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, okay, there's a loading, loading screen. <clears throat> so I guess we're probably going outside the whirling, in game, game terms at least. Yeah, on the balcony, right? Yeah, okay, so now we are basically in the middle of the roof. Th that's a, I can't quite parse <clears throat> that. Is the whirling built like an atrium? With an inside part that's actually outside? Mm, no, it's... Um, so... Is this a, a rooftop garden type situation? Mm, sort of, yeah. Um, so the um, roof doesn't have like two sides to it. It's just uh, a, a triangle with one side, basically. Are you describing it from the front? Um, like sure. From the from the side, I guess. It makes no sense. Also, Vincent, I'm not quite sure it's relevant. It's just fair, a balcony. Fair, yeah. I, I, so I'm going to let the imaginarium of my mind take care of it. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be fine. We're uh, on top of the whirling. That's cool. Basically, yeah. Uh, and we have a button right next to us. I'm going to pick it. The smell of cigarette smoke in the air. Astra mentor. Wow. The electro is on the case today. Oh yeah. Uh, then there's also some sort of antenna, I think, with, with a button. Uh huh. And there's a small table next to it. Cold coffee and an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog. Okay, so the button was on the table and not the antenna. Mm -hmm. And then there's one last button in the very south. It feels like an end boss. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. Kim is walking through the roof. Where are you oh, going, Kim? Oh, Kim, you card. <laughs> Doing that again? <laughs> Kim, don't, don't step off the roof. Please, stop. It's You have so much to live for. He's just... Now he's walking on air. He's... Well... <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. It does... <laughs> look, this is supposed to be a very dramatic <laughs> conversation, Kim. How can you just do clown <laughs> shit like this? Yeah. He's slowly walking off screen. <laughs> Well, I'm sure he'll collect it. Yeah, well, he'll, he'll get back. Yeah. Uh, okay, so last button. There are like some flies flying around, I think. Look, a handful of dried white white flowers. Uh huh. And they are Is just that a drug thing? No, I think the, these are like. Um, they are just whirling around mm. um, because of the wind. Okay. Okay, and. Does Kim reappear when we walk around a little? Maybe when you enter conversation. No, he, he's walking back. Okay. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. He's just very casually walking back. Yeah, this has been a very glitchy <laughs> environment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, let's talk to her and see where this actually goes. Yeah. Welcome to the roof. Okay. Um, first things first. We have our task updated. Speak to the assault victim. Mm -hmm. And then we have, uh, welcome to the roof. The young woman has a cigarette in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Her hair is still slick from the shower. Below her silvery jumpsuit, 
an athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Hmm. And we can say number one. Nice view you've got here. Number two. Is there a cleaning lady? I think I, I think <laughs> I need one. <laughs> She's not, yeah, that I, I want to say that one. Yeah, that, it also says proceed politely. Yeah. And then the last option. Uh, no time for pleasantries. We have questions for you. Mm. Let's proceed in a rush. No. Um, remember also, if we are mean to her, then mm -hmm. um, Titus will be angry. Yeah. The uh, pain train of something. Also, I don't. I really don't want to be mean to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were assholes before. Uh, but I think we can ask, uh, say the nice you before everything else. You think so? Yeah, because it doesn't say proceed, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say that? Kind of. Yeah, okay. It's much nicer now. Her Without the corpse. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good point. <laughs> Her eyes wandered north toward the yard. Yeah. Where the dead body used to hang. We get it. <laughs> from the roof, but no longer. Visual calculus. It calculated that we were right. It must have been interesting for her, to say the least, to wake up every morning and... You know, go to her rooftop garden and stay out at the corpse of her assailant hanging from the tree. Yeah, do, for days and days. Do you think that did good <laughs> things for her mental health? I don't. Know, that's why I sort of <laughs> hesitantly say interesting because it's like I don't know what that would feel like. Yeah. I, I guess it would make you feel something. <laughs> Very surreal. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I have to give it to the disco makers for constructing such mm -hmm. a scenario. Good job, yeah. you fucked up bastards. Well, let's hear what she has to say about it. Thank you for that, officers. Truly. There is something in her light brown eyes. A sadness. When she thinks about the death of that man. Mm. Okay. And then we say, you mentioned a cleaning lady. I think I need one. Oh, yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we can say, number one, it has. Number two, Disco Infernum. Number three, hell, you know not of which you speak. <laughs> <laughs> number four, there are vor vortices of dark energy present, but not to hell, to another place, a third place, much different from our world. And then the last option, no, I just trashed the place. <laughs> I I want to say, number one, it has, but mm -hmm. uh, like jokingly, <laughs> don't know if that's the intention, but let's say that one. Okay. They also say it's why the cleaning lady quit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that might be on us. Yeah, sorry. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Prison 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Prison 41. Have I ever? <laughs> this is the world's most lamentable cop. Huh. Do not go along with this. Ooh. Oh, is that suggestion again? That's authority. Okay. Huh. And what does that mean? We should just be speedy in this conversation in general? Okay, so the options are, number one, I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. Number two, that's not me anymore. I'm just a regular cop now. Regular law official. And then number three, those days are behind me. I am here to ask questions. I like the regular law official. What does authority mean? Don't go along with this. Okay, I mean, you have to think about the context. Right? As authority speaking, mm -hmm. it's about keeping, right, your authority, your your feet square on the ground mm -hmm. and she just said he's the most lamentable cop someone who is weak and feels unsecure would take that as a possible insult right mm -hmm. and feel attacked and the need to defend mm -hmm. right is that why authority says like don't go along with this in the sense of don't um waste too much thought on defending against that because that will actually chip away your authority. Hmm. And from that perspective, like right, saying those days are behind me, blah 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 is like 
you're falling into that trap. Mm -hmm. So can you read me again the options? Uh, the first one is, I'm sorry, I'm the sorry cop. Mm -hmm. Second one, that's not me anymore. I'm just a regular cop now, regular law official. And the third one, those days are behind me. I am here to ask questions. I think I want to say number three. It's the least self-obsessed, because okay. number one and two are both about these couple types, right? Mm -hmm. Which I still haven't quite understood. But in this particular context, it's just like, stop worrying about who you are and how you're being perceived, Harry. Yeah. Just get, help people, get to the task. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. <laughs> yes. Those days. Thanks for you. listening to my monologue, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I had basically the same idea. Let's not talk about us, but talk yeah. about whoever uh, led me to regular law official, apparently. Uh, so, these days are behind me. Questions? What about? Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. I'm glad he's sort of taking charge of this. Yeah, also he seems like he sounded like he took a lot of charge there. <laughs> very authoritative. Uh, yeah, he has a very um, forceful way of speaking, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder where this is going. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. She takes a pensive drag of her mental cigarette. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there... Use words like, I hear you have been through something difficult. Mm -hmm. Who's saying that? Suggestion. Okay. Okay, so first question we can ask is, what is your name, miss, for the record? Number two is, nice room you've got here. Number three, they tell us you've been through something difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number four, I noticed your room is close to mine. I have a personal question. <laughs> That's... Mean mm. of the game because yeah. we don't know what where that's going, <laughs> and it could go to awful places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe if we ask everything else first. He probably we'll... just wants to know about missing memories, what she's been hearing from her room, maybe. Right. But we don't know, so ugh, conflicted about that one. Anyway, mm -hmm. please, I interrupted you. Please go. The on. last option is just to leave option. Oh, okay. Let's return to this later, Miss. Well, there really aren't any super aggressive questions, right? So, yeah. let's uh, take the name first. Mm -hmm. Clausier Amandou. And we can ask, and where are you from? Number two, how old are you? Number three, what do you do, miss? What is your specialization? Number four, could we take a look at your passport, please? And Whoa. number five, thank you. That's it, for the record. I don't know if I wanted to talk, ask all of these. Okay, you, what do you want to ask? Where are you from? Okay, start there. Vredefort, Republic of Aranje. And we could ask, what is Orange? Orange? Sure. A bad memory, officer. All right. We could uh, continue by asking a bad memory of what? Or understood, miss? Understood. It's the past. People can't go back to the past. Uh, okay, we're back to the previous menu. So what else is here? How old are you? What do you do? And could we take a look at your passport? Yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? Asking for the passport is such a, like a, kind of an aggressive move. Yeah, honestly. And what do we gain from that? Are we doubting her identity? That's not really the point here. No, I, I'm wondering, do we have anything in our information? In our, um, like we had these forms we fill out, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I think there was something about a passport that was, but there was only about the um, corpse, maybe? I, I don't think it's yeah. relevant in this case. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you in general. Mm, I think it's okay to ask, what do you do? That seems like a normal question. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Miss? What is your specialization? Something stupid. What's that? Orani's lit. And what's that? Orani's literature. It's what I studied at the university. Hmm. She raises both eyebrows. Eyebrows. And we could ask, what is Orani's literature about? Yeah, sure. Or we can say, back to you. No, ask her. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> 
fear of failure, fear of death, how it sucks to be at an ease. All national literatures are... Only the name of the nation changes. If that's true, then River Sholian Lit would fit you like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we can still ask about her age. Uh, we can also ask Orange oh, Lit. What do you do with it? Sure. Nothing. I do nothing with it. And we can say, how do you make money then? Money is very important. And we show her some money. <laughs> or we can say, cool. And that's it. Yeah, cool. That's it. It's not very cool. But what can you do? Okay. And we're back. So passport and H. Yeah, I guess the age would be debatable, but it's also kind of a, like, I don't know, very forward question. Yeah. Um, honestly, I I would ask it just because it feels like, okay, this is very normal stuff, right? Like, we, we're preparing her by giving her the option to give us yeah, easy answers. Yeah, I see answers. what you mean. Okay. Sure, let's do the age, but pass on the passport. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How old are you? I'm 28. She takes a drag. Okay. And then we say, thank you. That's it. All right. For the record. The record. So official. Okay. And then we can either say, nice room we've got here. And the next option is, they tell us you've been through something difficult. Do the nice room. And then there's a personal question. Nice room you've got here. Yeah. It's pretty deluxe. No one likes to talk about their dirty laundry and their empty bottles. Maybe if you phrase it emotionally. Who's saying that? A suggestion. Okay. All right, so, the, any new options? Uh, yeah, a bunch. Um, mm. So, the first option is, what are you doing here? And the whirling and rags. Number two, look around. I hate to say it, but you've got sad all over the place. Mm, this, that's, that's the sad. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, then the third option, you have quite the collection of prescription drugs down there. <laughs> um, maybe not the time, Harry. Yeah. And then I have other questions. Well, let's go with the suggestion and our, you know, we are the psychic feeling character, mm -hmm. so ask about the sad. Here we go. Yeah, I've contaminated it pretty bad. And then we can ask, is that why you're out here? The contamination spreads from room to room. First, I escaped upstairs. The sad got that too. Then I found the handle for the summer door. And we can either say got it, or we can ask, what exactly is the nature of this contamination? Yeah, that one. For me, it's a mix of me with a lack of cleaning services. How about you? <laughs> Talk around the establishment is... You have an industrial sad spill in there. She taps the roof with her heel. Hmm. Somewhere below, military grade sad is dripping off the walls. You should say the first thing. It's honest. It will lead to introspection. Who's saying that? Inland Empire. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so what was the first part? The, somewhere down there? Yeah, I think she's standing right above our room. Oh, okay. I see. And yeah, we're, the first option that Inland is referring to, I think, is we can say something is bad. And we point to our head. In my head. In the past. Mm. The second option is for me, it's alcoholism. Is, and the third one, I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah. Follow Inland, of course. Uh -huh. That's where it always comes from, isn't it? From the head and from the past. And we can say, it's a feeling, white and filled with doom, gaseous, invisible, deadly. It's everywhere. Mm. Or we can say, not, and then we, well, we not, and then we say, anyway. <clears throat> no, say number one. Sounds like an advanced form of what I've got. With a bit of old love sprinkled on top. And we can say, doesn't feel like love at all. We can say, 
Probably. Yeah. Well, we can nod and say, anyway. Doesn't feel like love. Are you sure? Love is terror. She breathes in a large billow of mental infused smoke, savors it, and then lets it out slowly. Mm. Sheer terror. Panic and screaming. Okay. Is that inland or who's saying that? Half light. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. That's the adrenaline skill. Yeah. Okay, um, back to the previous menu. So we have what are you doing here in the Whirling and Rex? And you have quite the collection of prescription drugs down there. Mm. Is there another option? Uh, we can ask. Uh, we can also say I have other questions for you. Okay, what do you do in the Whirling and Rex? I'm wintering. <laughs> She's a bear. How long have you been staying here? About four months. I came in November. And we can ask why here? Or we can say understood. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? These are all options. Here in Whirling, here in the Martinez, okay, here in Okay, pick them all. <laughs> or we can also ask, here on the Insulidian Isola. Well, well, let's start with the Whirling and sure. see where it goes. Because it's the funkiest building in Martinez. And because all the other buildings are bombed to hell. All right. Huh, but but we're, we're back in the previous menu. Mm. So I guess the game is telling us, okay, you won't get anything out of the other options, but I still want to do them. Okay, you want to go back into that menu? Yeah, I just want to see what the other options. Okay. At least one of the other options. Yes. You don't? Uh, sure, go ahead. I'm winter. How okay. long? Did you... About four months. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, then or here in Ravishol? Here in Martinez. I heard this is where the washed-up disco has-beens go. Disco has-beens? Mm -hmm. She's one of us, Vincent. <laughs> yeah. Crack this case wide open. <clears throat> well. Uh, we can say, number one, you came to the right place. <laughs> number two, you're uh, too young to call yourself a disco has-been. Number three, no, this is sassy town. It's where the future of dance lies. Or number four, understood. Number two, you're too young. I'm really not. She smirks. We're getting to her. Okay, we want to do the other options? Um, sure. I'm winter. How long? About four months. Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? Here in Ravishol. I always wanted to see the only city in the world in the worst time of the year. It's a tourist thing. Okay. Man, I think I'm done with the options now. All right. It was good results. I have other questions for you. Okay. Okay, going way close to the mic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watching herself reflected in the bedroom window, tall and sparkling and draped in smoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so now we have a personal question and something difficult. Personal question could be good. Mm -hmm. Could be good to reveal, you know, be vulnerable. Let's, I, I say we try it. Okay. Pedal back if it goes all right. <laughs> yeah. So we say, I noticed your room is close to mine. I have a personal question. Yes. You're just one room away. Very personal. She pours herself more coffee. Good. Yes. This means she could have heard something. Like what you were doing before you blacked out. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. So, so, okay, this is good. For, uh, the option we have is, were you in Sunday night? I need to know what I did before I lost my memory. Any other options? Uh, that's all. Just wanted to establish that as the other option. Yeah, no, let's ask. You do not need to know that. <laughs> what you need is to ask normal police questions, like... <laughs> he waits for you to finish the sentence. <laughs> and we have a new task... Ask Classy about Sunday night. <laughs> ah, when we're alone with her, yes. which maybe now she will allow. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Get a grip, he thinks. At least do your personal stuff when I'm not here. Yeah, okay. That's fair. So, they tell us you've been through something difficult. Yeah. Something difficult? I've been through at least half a dozen difficult things. Which one do you mean? 
I can say number one, were you sexually sexually assaulted, miss? Number two, have you been raped? Number three, ah, forget about it. I don't want to talk about this shit. Well, we can't do that one. Nope. Sexually assault is so, <clears throat> rape is such an ugly word. Mm -hmm. So let's do number one. <laughs> At least try. Yeah. By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? Yeah, she, but you know, better if he, she says it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, she takes a quick drag, unperturbed. Yes. It's a bit early in the morning for raped, isn't it? I mean, it's 1426, so not really. She sounds positively buoyant, vivacious, totally unbothered. Um, All right. The first option is actually it's already afternoon. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> yeah. Other options? Uh, the other option is, and what does that mean? Were you dot dot dot? Do you, do we say the afternoon thing? It seems weirdly petty. <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> yeah, just go. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with not raped. I can't say that stuff about him. Hmm. Yeah. Th th you had to keep that in mind, right? That mm -hmm. it might not be truthful what we've been hearing. Yeah. I, I think this is how police work is done. You can never fully commit to one reality. I mean, it's possible that she actually had an affair with that guy, right? And mm -hmm. just Titus, who is obviously an ex-boyfriend, might be jealous, yeah. framed it that way, etc. Yeah. Framed it as sexual assault. So, But we don't know. We'll find out. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more uh, rapeable. Yeah, okay. Need to get her talking about this more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please elaborate. You that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery. Sexual assault, maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. And we can say, number one, Titus asked you to spice things up for us? And number two, are you sure you weren't raped? Number three, what did happen between you and the victim? Oh. Number four, mm -hmm. what can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age. Number five, what did they hang him for if not rape? Number six, why was there a bullet in his head? Yeah. Number seven, <laughs> how do you, how do the Hardy Boys know you? Yeah. And number eight is the last one, the conclude option. This is the money menu. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is yeah. <laughs> where we <laughs> advance the plot. <laughs> Vincent, begin advancing. Number one. Titus asked you to spice things up for us? Pretty much. She cradled her coffee cup in both hands. Warming them. <laughs> Thanks, interfacing. You're really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, do you ask about, or do you ask her if she's sure if she weren't raped? Yeah, sure. No, okay. I'm 89% sure. <laughs> okay, first option. So you're not entirely sure? Number two, does that mean you're 11% not sure? <laughs> or, uh, and the last option, got it. 89% is good enough. Moving on. Well, what do you want to say? Uh, I mean, I take that... <laughs> Just judging from the whole context of mm -hmm. her life and stuff, it might be like, well, <laughs> occasionally I'm so drugged out of my mind, <laughs> I don't remember and uh -huh. can't tell. That might be what she means. Um, yeah, I don't know. What uh, was number one again? So you're not entirely sure? Yeah, I say that. It's a normal thing to say if she gives you 89%. Okay. You know how it is. Well, actually, I don't. <laughs> no, in this case, absolutely not. Do you? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually, that's half that challenging failure. <laughs> I guess if it's a success, you we do know. <laughs> we missed it by one. We that's got an 11. Bad. So we can say, do I? Or we can say, actually, I don't. Or the last option, how is it then? <laughs> actually, I don't. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you don't. She's being there obtuse. Are numerous cigarette burns on those mm -hmm. silvery scales. Easy to see now that you're closer. Mm. 
silvery scales. Uh, yeah. So her clothing. Before that, it says she flicks a bit of ash away. The mm. ash lands on her jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. She brushes it, brushes it off. Yeah. Okay. In conclusion, officer, I'm gonna go with a mild to medium not raped here. All right. And we can say number one. Okay then. Number two. No one deserves to be raped. Number three, sexual assault is a serious matter. I need a serious statement from you. Number four, it sounds like something happened and you don't want to acknowledge it. Or number five, uh, Lieutenant, I don't know what to say about this. I like number four. That's the most honest option. Because, yeah, it's just I'm confused mm -hmm. a little by what she's saying and I'm wondering why she wants us to be confused. Yeah. And maybe it will stay that way, but that seems like the most reasonable thing to say. Mm -hmm. Let me make this 100% clear, yes. then, officer. <laughs> I was not sexually assaulted. All right. Would I be as flippant if I had been? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, we can ask. We're back to the, the money menu. Um, the next option is... What did happen between you and the victim? Yeah. We partied. And we can say, number one, wait, partied? Where have I heard that before? <laughs> By with Titus. Yeah. You heard it with Titus. <laughs> it's not been that long, Harry. Uh, number two, you mean like a birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> like a joke. Man, Harry, get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they weren't fetching apples from a bucket with water and apples in it with their mouths. Yeah, all have these little party heads on. Apparently, that's what I think of when I hear yeah, a birthday party. Yeah, cake and all that. It's good fun. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, we can also ask, what kind of parting? Point to your bloated face. The kind I do? <laughs> <laughs> Point to your bloated face. <laughs> Okay. And the, the last option is... Uh, I, <laughs> Sorry, that really gets me. <laughs> That's a level of self-deprecating humor that I wasn't used to from Harry Dubois. <laughs> uh, um, All right. The last option is... I don't get it. What do you mean, party? No, let's, I want to see if we can make her laugh. Say the uh, party like me. Okay, but we have a weight option. I vote we do the weight option first, mm, and then that's we fair. probably have the other. What option. is the weight option? Wait, partied? Where have I heard that before? Ah, uh, okay, but that is a weight option technically. Mm -hmm. I guess you're right. Let's trust the game that mm -hmm. it follows its own rules. A lot of partying going on. From Titus, about her and Titus's relationship. Yes, that's <laughs> what I yeah, said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. Okay, but we're. We have the other options. So which one do you say? Yeah, uh, want to say? party like me, point at my bloated face. <laughs> okay, the kind I do. With all due respect, sir, <laughs> I think we partied a little harder than that. You think? Even harder. I mean, <laughs> I uh, mean not what I expected. <laughs> no. I, like saying, okay, no, we didn't. We par Or we partied differently. Yeah, mm -hmm. would have expected that. Harder? <laughs> yeah. A bit surprised. <laughs> That's one of the options I didn't expect. Yeah. And we can say, no one parties harder than <laughs> me. Or the alternative is, harder than this? And keep pointing to your face. <laughs> I didn't know it was physically possible. That's it? Yeah. And then the second one. Oh, it is. You're still alive. That's, That's a good a point. <laughs> But, actually, we do have information that makes it very unreasonable that he died from partying. Right. It's more the bullet in his head. Well, maybe it was a party bullet. <laughs> a birthday bullet? Yeah. yeah, anyway, let's move on. Shot by a clown. <laughs> nice. What did you do when you partied? We drank, sir. A lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. Okay. That's a little weird. Yeah. I guess. You don't think so? That you like someone because they make you drink harder? Um, for certain kinds of people in certain life situations, that may be, you know, behavior. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess. 
What else? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect, making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. We also had sex. Uh, no, we can... I mean, it's like, okay, people who, I, I would say, want to d drown out the chaos inside of them, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone does that to some extent at some point. <laughs> they are just, they just, they're professionals about it. <laughs> and they're cooperating. Uh -huh. People do that all the time. Yeah, I guess. Honestly. I mean, we did it, but alone, because <laughs> we're not mm -hmm. very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Be pointing at my bloated <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so we can say number one, you were lovers. Number two, were feelings involved? Or number three, understood? Um, some people think lovers is a very corny word. And I don't know. I'm not a native speaker. I don't know how to feel about it. I mm. wonder what the game will say. Let's pick that one. Okay. I guess you can say that, yes. A bit. Lovers is such an emotional word. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but there was something there. We did enough drugs for there to be. How did you two meet? And the lieutenant's voice is quiet, calm. Downstairs, at the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. Yeah, we know. We have this armor. Yeah, we've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> she appears aloof, but that scar part, the scary, is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? Apprehension? Hmm. Hmm. It's very Even perceptive. Mm -hmm. She misses him. I see. When was this? A month ago? Something like that. And we're back to the previous menu, mm -hmm. and we have a new option that says, it must have been hard for you. And we point to the yard, yeah. seeing him there. Yeah, that's what I thought earlier. Yeah, sorry for that week. We... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hang. But we had to party too, you know. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> also, we took your speed, Lloyd. <laughs> Pointed my blue face. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this okay. is such an obnoxious image in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Everett is helping me find my gun. <laughs> oh, good, Everett. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's yeah. ask. It must have been hard for you. Oh, yes. I've had a great view from the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. She says bitterly. A bitter cringe. It hurts. You look to the lieutenant. <gasps> Are we about to lose health? Mm. He takes a small step closer. Mm. You called us, the RCM. <gasps> she was the caller. Yes. Nice. Jackpot. And we can say, number one, the call. Reporting the hanging. That was you? Mm hmm Or we can say nothing. I mean, it is kind of obvious. Let's say nothing. Yeah, I like letting Kim do as well. Yeah. I made it. And I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. Oh, okay. In Martinez, we call it snitching. Reporting crimes is confidential in Revachol, Miss. All right. And we can say number one. Before we go on, if it's snitching, then why do it? I think sh Anyway, uh, number two, the caller's voice was disguised. Hmm, is that so? I forgot. Yeah, uh, other I options? No, that's it. Um, yeah, ask her why she does it. Why she did it. Okay. Because I couldn't handle it anymore. Yeah. None of these people called. He just kept hanging there. Then they started stripping him. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that is hard. Um, if you cared about that person at all. Yeah. I mean, even just watching a corpse hang there is 
part by itself, I think. But even more so if you care about it. Yeah. Okay. And the other option? Is that still available? Yeah. The caller's voice was disguised. Yeah. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Nicked right. it? How? <laughs> With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. Into the cold wire. Is she like an engineer oh, or something? <laughs> <laughs> this is a it's, lot more it's complex. pretty clever. <laughs> yeah. You were right to suspect. There might be foul play involved with the broken phone line. Oh, where was the broken phone line? I don't remember. Is that in our room as well? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. The only phone I remember is the one uh, next to the church. But that's miles away. Is that what? Not, the, not miles, but the payphone. Yeah. All right, yeah. And then there's Kim, but that's a radio transmitter. Yeah. I guess maybe Garch. Maybe there was a conversation with Garch where we asked mm. about the phone in the whirling. And yeah, he would be. say it's broken. That's possible, but it was long ago. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And it says the one option we have is, and in the process, you broke the landline downstairs. Uh huh. Did I? Fuck. I didn't mean to. I had no idea what I was doing. Well, it sort of worked. Yeah. So we asked, why go through all the trouble? I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, you'd still be hanging there. Yeah. Okay, and back to the previous menu. Um, next option is, what can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him <clears throat> like he is now. I can't talk about his, I don't know, hair. Another puff, right. more nervous. Maybe also for without Kim. Yeah, uh, we got a new task. Question, Kasi, about the dead man. Right. I know it's difficult, miss. We can return to it later. She meant she sees him in her dreams. Yes, we have also dreamt of him. Yeah, and we can say, I've also seen him in, in a dream. <laughs> All right, or we thanks, can say game. nothing. No, tell her. You have? Not like I do, I imagine. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> uh, she runs out of cigarette. Time to let her light a new one. She sees them in each other's arms. Huh, that was Electro. Yeah, mm. cool to <laughs> that Electro has these insights. Yeah. Yeah. So we can say, number one, you're in each other's arms. Or we can say, mm. number two, I see him as me. Or the third option, mm. better conclude this part of our talk. I'll start with one. I hope we can say both. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. And then he's dead. His mouth agape. She looks into the light green pack of cigarettes and pulls out another one, preparing to light it. And then we can say, I see him as me. Yeah. She dips the cigarette in the lighter's flame and inhales, then looks at you with her lungs full of smoke. I can see the similarity, yes. She breathes out through her nostrils. The air smells of menthol. Funny. The lieutenant says softly. Funny how? Nothing. I also saw him. We had a long inspection and that sort of thing sticks with you. Oh. Let's move on. Hmm. Not what I expected. Yeah, and we, we didn't have a dream after that, right? Like we were with our hand basically all the way in him. Yeah, but we had the dream before that. Yeah. Which, okay. I wonder though what, like, how was the dream for Kim? But he doesn't mm -hmm. seem the type to share that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, maybe we can ask him about it later, but probably not. You're right. All right. So the next option is, what did they hang him for, if mm -hmm. not rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. <clears throat> but you probably know all about it. And his role in this strike was what? I think he was in a security detail. 
He was ex-military, worked for Wild Pines, and against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. Hmm. Okay. So it was a, a Union thing, according to her. But then why was there a bullet in his head? That's the next question. Yeah. Bullet? They shot him too? And there's a silence. Her brows meet in the middle for a, pa for a paint frown. Yeah. They stripped his clothes and they shot him? You mean after they hanged him? I'm confused. Sorry. So am I. Were you aware that he had also been shot, miss? Things are starting to go a little over my head here. I thought he was hanged. <clears throat> I was not present when they did it. I don't know what happened. I just know what they told me and Sylvie, the bartender. Hmm. This is beginning to get confusing for you too, and we don't like that. Where was she last <laughs> Sunday night? Is that logic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like that. Yeah, yeah, but it's true, right? It's um, that's police work. Got to establish a, a proper timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thankfully, I think by now we're pretty good at logic. We level it a bunch. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So what else? Uh, where were you when this happened? Or we can let it be. No, ask her. Cowering. I was cowering downstairs with Sylvie. Hmm. Okay. And the last qu question before the conclude option is, how do the Hardy Boys know you? Mm -hmm. They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're probably down there now. And how did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you party? A little, yeah. Like you partied with the deceased? No, not as hard. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? I have. And we can ask which one, or we can say understood. Which one? Which ones, sir? All I right. don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? And we, yeah, we good can thinking. Ask, could that be why they lynched him? Jealousy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we cannot mention it. No, you have to ask that. I hope not. Actually, I know that's not the reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you know? But that's probably where they got the rape idea. Hmm. Well, what do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. She changes balance from one foot to another, crossing her legs. <laughs> what's, what's the skill that's making these observations? Electro. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that time it was Electro. Yeah. She sh shifted her context. <laughs> <laughs> and then we conclude by saying, thank you for telling us all, all right. Christmas. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. Oh, I agree, Kim. <laughs> and we can say, I had something else before we go. A little thing. Okay, do we? I have no idea where that leads. <laughs> Alright, do it. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. Oh, okay. So we're back at the starting menu. Um, we can say, I need to talk to you about your room again. Let's talk mm. about this so-called assault. Mm -hmm. And we have a white jack. Ah. Volition. Legendary. 14. Nice. Look her in the eye. Oh, that takes... Volition, just to make eye contact, implying that we've been doing this whole interview without <laughs> eye contact. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's try it. Um, I would be interested in both failure and success. We gain a plus one from slight confusion about bullet. Mm. 
and we are at 58% chance of success. I like how the game is implying that making someone confused weakens their gaze strength. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Which I guess is true. Gaze strength. That's yeah. Nice. Let's try it. Yeah. Soft, light brown eyes look back at you, directly into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. I have bad news for you. What? You know these guys? Who? Me? Uh, the first one... Is, Who's talking? So the one that was talking is Volition, and now it's Suggestion, answering with a challenging success. Who? Me? So Vol can you like just read that out with the skill names? Okay. Yeah. For um, my benefit and pleasure. So Volition said, soft light brown eyes look back at you mm -hmm. directly into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. Yeah. I have bad news for you. Then we say, what? Volition, you know these guys? Suggestion, challenging, challenging success. Who? Me? <laughs> yes, you. He's talking about you, you groveling sycophant. That's authority with a trivial success. <laughs> Are we having a seizure, Vincent? <laughs> Uh, so when the skills start talking to each other, that's uh, it has been a bad sign before. Yeah, but this one was... <sighs> I mean, volition is a good skill. Yeah, also it was because we did something and it, it succeeded. Yeah. Before it was because we picked one option and that... There was no skill failure, I don't think, but... I think there was. When, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The Everett and Gun thing, I think there was a composure failure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. Maybe you're right. Wrong. Maybe one, a passive failure, mm -hmm. right? Without a white check. Yeah. Uh, okay, but where's this going? I'm confused. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Feels like we're about to kick suggestion out, which I don't know. If no, that means. I like suggestion. Let's keep it. Yeah. Uh, so, authority said, yes, you. He's talking about you, you groveling psychopath. Psychophant. You too. Volition, again. Okay, so Volition is against authority and suggestion. Yes. These are all uh, psyche skills, by the way. Yeah. Me? Get out of here. I'm solid. Authority, with a trivia success, again. Of course that would say that. These guys are compromised. She's got them singing along to her tune. The ah. little bleeps and bloops you trust for info. You can't trust them anymore. What? That's really cool. <laughs> okay. Huh. Vincent, I mean, have you ever been hijacked by your libido? <laughs> when in, perhaps when you were very young, in puberty perhaps, when interacting as a young heterosexual male with a female. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the point here, that it's hijacking yeah. your skills and they're not operating clearly mm -hmm. and it's implying that volition is the one who maintains control yeah Which is, I, that's how i'm taking this yeah <laughs> me too they yeah. have different objectives here yeah interesting well let's see if we can get them back in line if we can say number one oh my god number two <laughs> what <laughs> and number three i knew something was off <laughs> These are all the same response, right? <laughs> Let's just say, oh my God. Believe it. That's Volition again. Right. And so we just, it's good. It's just good police <clears throat> advice by Volition, right? Just watch out. Don't just believe anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we gain 5 XP. Mm -hmm. Nice. And we can say, number one, which ones exactly are affected? Number, t number two, how did this happen? Number mm -hmm. three, does this mean she's been lying to me? Mm -hmm. Number four, what is her plan? Mm -hmm. And number five, I've been talking to myself long enough. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Yeah, start with number one. Which ones exactly are affected? There's no way of knowing. At the moment, I'm afraid it's best to assume all of them. Except Volition? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bullshit, man. I ain't compromised. Authority? That's electro. Oh, well... <laughs> You know what? It might be right because it basically was compromised out of the gate. Yeah, it, this is very the clear. skill yeah. of compromisation. Uh huh. You can't so, compromise it any further. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's like you know the devil you know. Yeah. So you can always trust Electro to lead you into danger. Mm -hmm. 
So that's fine. What Pass else? Again, with an easy success. I find it very interesting that every other skill that has, uh, is talking, apart from volition, it's always successes and passive skill checks. Yeah, this whole system of like <clears throat> skills talk, like it's a weird, bizarre dialogue generating machine that they've got in the background. <laughs> I'm very fascinated by it. Yeah, but, yeah. it's yeah, it, it's just not very transparent to us, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know what we are missing, maybe. Yeah. So okay, bullshit man, I ain't compromised. Especially that guy. That guy's the most compromised one in. Yeah. Here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No fucking way, man. I just want to drag of that sweet menthol Ziggy. <laughs> okay. Really? Quick. Tell me what's under her jumpsuit. Glory. Truth. Softness. Protect her. She wants you. All in caps. <laughs> right. <laughs> I take it back. He's got it pretty bad. But this next guy's on another level entirely. She likes you. The crown head is a boring condom. He's jealous. This is human nature. <laughs> Who's saying that? half light Suggestion. Oh, okay. But yeah, who? suggestion. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're compromised. <laughs> oh, the, the crown? Who's the, that's the crown head? The, the, her dead ex-boyfriend. <laughs> dead boyfriend. Oh, uh, okay. Right. I, I'm thinking, because he... Wasn't there something about his head? Maybe I'm totally wrong. Uh, oh, okay. Um, now I'm wondering because you know there are um, portraits for these skills. Oh. I think volition is just a head with a crown on top of it. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah so that's okay. the crown head. Okay. <clears throat> I take it back. Okay. So we can ask, how did this happen? Okay. How it always does, through subtlety. And yeah, that's right. It's it's not even really a head. It's just something that resembles a head and mm -hmm. the main thing is a crown. Yeah, because it's about governance, right? Mm -hmm. You govern your body and your mind with volition. Yes. Mm -hmm. The crown head is a boring condom. Nice. <laughs> uh, I've never called someone a condom. I don't really know <laughs> what kind of insult that is, but okay. It weirdly fits yes, because exactly. it's the condom uh -huh. sort of symbolizes g governance over your biological urges. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. He's Blocking them, right? <laughs> it's or a th cock block, you're yeah. right. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> okay. I love how we're probably still standing on <laughs> this rooftop and just having this yeah. ten minute like internal <laughs> reflection best, in front of her the best thing yeah. is the last thing you said to, to everyone uh, to anyone is Kim we have a little personal thing and then we just start looking at <laughs> yeah <laughs> hold on one more thing hmm <laughs> nope actually then you look deep into her eyes and then you go quiet for 10 minutes <laughs> reflecting on your crown head condom <laughs> How did this happen? Yeah. Oh, my, hopefully he says that out loud. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. Harry is... Well, Harry always delivers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, how did this happen? How it always does through subtle, yeah. subtlety. And then we ask, what can I do? Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about it. You are how you are, and she is how she is. Things will go as they do. And we ask, can't you turn them normal again? No. What use is this then? It's better to know you're being played than to be played without knowing it, yeah. is it not? Yeah, absolutely. And the next question is, does this mean she's been lying to me? I think it's safe to assume, yes. Mr. Thespian here hasn't been speaking up. If he were, I suspect there would be peons to her truthfulness, like this. No, he's not going to show up. I'm sorry. Oh, your lie detection isn't working. That was a it's skill failure, right? Uh -huh. He's just totally inept. It looks like you're also an idiot, but that's not her fault. Hmm. What skill is he talking about? Is this drama? Was this a drama failure? Could drama be the skill that tells us that she's lying? Because he said thespian, right? That's a fancy word for actor. Yeah. Wait. Can we look at our skills? Yeah. Um, we are bad at drama. So every other skill that's been featured so far is Psyche. And we have Volition, Inline Empire, Empathy, Authority, Esprit de Corps, and Suggestion. Uh-huh. 
So what is drama if not psyche? Uh, it's intellect. Oh, yeah, that makes quite sort of sense, I guess. And we also suck at it. Holy moly. Yeah, that's what I said. We, we suck have at it. We zero in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's also, it never comes up, but then again in this game, maybe it never comes up because we suck at it. Not sure. Yeah. Um, it also says the mini description is play the actor, lie, and detect yeah. lies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. Hmm, maybe we should put some points in it. Maybe. Yeah. But we, we just suck at intellect stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, so we are an idiot, but that's not her fault. Yeah. So no, not an idiot. You're just more of a sensitive type. <laughs> Thinks with his heart. This woman's pain draws you in. Hmm. That hmm. makes sense. It's really interesting to me how many of these things are just reacting to each other. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, this is a dialogue option that would not come up if drama would have spoken up. Yeah. And still it, it needed a success to happen. Uh, of drama? No, no of, of other stuff. Of, of empathy, which is the yeah. one that just spoke. Yeah, it, as I said, this is a weird dialogue mm -hmm. generation machine that is honestly quite impressive. And yeah. I would like to see how it works under the hood. Absolutely. But that's not <clears throat> for us to discuss right now. No. But well done. Yeah. Um, no, this is really cool. Okay. So uh, what is your plan? You can't draw a sound conclusion. The one he usually does says, she may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. Yeah. That no, makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. It's, uh, you know, all of that, okay, we're a sensitive feeling type guy. We're not, we don't have those intellect skills. All that being true, we, s we are still having this internal realization, mm -hmm. right? Thanks yeah. to our volition, I guess. We can't quite tell exactly where the lies are and stuff, but we still have that intuition that tells us we're being played or we're compromised, mm -hmm. which I kind of like. <laughs> yeah. And hey, our logic is apparently good enough to yeah. <laughs> see that she's not truly insidious. Yeah. See? It's oddly moderate. Probably compromised. Okay, maybe she is. Said yes. Hmm. Okay, uh, I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Don't worry. It's only been four or five seconds. You've got this. <laughs> it's nice. We were wondering about that. <laughs> uh, so we can say out loud, Miss, are you manipulating me? Mm. Or we can not say anything and just close our eyes and let the moment pass. No, ask her. The silence broken. She exhales a little cloud of smoke and says, God, no. Hey, level up. What? We can level up. We oh, nice. We have 5xp for that. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess that's Sounded it. completely honest. Yeah. Now I trust her implicitly, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to bring Volition back here? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I have been compromised. <laughs> okay. So, that's it. Why not? I'll be here until 11 p.m. Drinking coffee, most likely. Hmm. What happens after 11 p.m.? I think she just goes to bed. Yeah, okay. But <laughs> and she drinks coffee up, uh, right yep. up to going, yeah, yeah, I guess. People have different drug habits. Yeah, uh, Everyone's okay. electrochemistry runs a little differently. Maybe she's not going to bed at 11. She's just closing her door to have some privacy but no. yeah i don't know or she goes working i don't know wasn't she a dancer she yeah. never mentioned that yeah am i Im imagining that <laughs> no her, her name is uh miss orange disco dancer right but maybe yeah i don't know we'll see maybe no. anyway is that done with the conversation uh yeah yeah i think that's a good spot to end okay. that was quite the thing i know what we do next time what? We have two things. One, we can talk to Kim, and there's also a second mm. door up here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess... A second glass door right next to hers. Um, you know what? We're almost sort of basically on a cliff, and that's a great cliffhanger, <laughs> Vincent, that you uh -huh. just mentioned. All of these. There's a lot of shit to do in disco, that, and it's great. I'm very excited about uh, uh, next time playing mm -hmm. with you. This was good. I have to process what yes. we learned here. 
Uh, if you, dear viewer, are also excited to see what happens next time, you can uh, tune in again. You can comment. We always enjoy hearing. Maybe you have uh, your own experience with this dialogue. I would love to hear how this can also play out, honestly. Yeah. Um, although I'm not quite ready yet, even after 58 episodes, to go on Reddit and spoil <laughs> myself. Uh, but if you give us careful um, observations, I would very much enjoy that. Uh, you can also subscribe uh, or follow us on Twitter at makes underscore play. Do you have any final words, Vincent? I, I still love this game. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Even more so. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye.